Welcome to the University of Hertfordshire. My name is Rosina Sink and I'm one of the senior lecturers for adult nursing. I'm going to introduce you to the programmes of BSc Honours in Adult Nursing and the MSc in Adult Nursing. Our university community is almost 25,000 strong. A significant number of our students choose to live on our campuses at either De Havilland or College Lane. This means that our campuses are dynamic, lively, with rich, diverse student groups engaging in all kinds of activities, whether they be cultural, social, sporting activities, as well as engaging in their studies in the different facilities that we offer. We believe you've made a great choice in accepting an offer from the University of Hertfordshire for your nursing degree. We encourage and promote the university's um, values. And if you were lucky enough to come to one of our open days, you will have experienced the friendly and um, student focused uh, way that we operate um, right across the campus in all departments and in all um, functions of the university. We genuinely want you to succeed and we want to know your views on how your experience is going. We are ambitious for ourselves as well as you, and we will do whatever we can to make your experience a positive one and a fruitful one for your graduation and future employment. We work together, not only as students and staff in partnership in the development of, the delivery of, and the evaluation of our courses, but we also work together across different schools to make sure that we're all using our brains to come up with new and innovative um, solutions to problems in all aspects of the work that we cover. Um, like a lot of universities these days, we pride ourselves on using the latest evidence and research to inform the teaching that we do. That means that you will be up to date with the practices that you're learning in the nursing world. You will also no doubt have the opportunity to become involved in research that's been undertaken by staff and also postgraduate students in the university. We have great relationships with our practice partners who um, operate in a number of different NHS and private sector settings. Um, you will have also noticed the symbol for TEF Gold. It represents the highest award in the Teaching Excellence Framework. And we're very lucky and very proud of our achievement in that area, being only one of three institutions that were granted TEF Gold. We have cutting edge facilities located on um, a couple of sites within the university. Um, we have a state of the art health research building um, where we um, often use in an intensive care unit and a ward complex simulation area to practice the skills that may be required with different levels of patient complexity and presentation. We can record and hear the conversations and play those back afterwards to be able to give groups of students feedback and also to discuss some of the issues that were presented. Sometimes our staff are also involved in simulating exercises or um, incidents that may occur in clinical practice for further scrutiny in group work. In Hatfield Town Centre, we also have Meridian House which is a building housing eight clinical skills laboratories for our nursing, midwifery and also children's nursing programmes. The facilities there also include the audio and visual recording and we have state-of-the-art audio mannequins to help bring to life um, some of the clinical situations that you need to practice. On to the programme itself. If you've read the programme specification on the website, you will see that we have blocks of theory and then follow that by blocks of practice learning in a clinical placement. By the end of the course, you will have completed 50% of theory, 50% practice during your programme. As each block of theory goes by and gets you ready for the next um, practice placement, you will see that the complexity um, is cumulative. 
So we start you out with the basics of clinical skills, the basic knowledge that you need to practice. You will go out into a clinical area working alongside registered nurses and teams of healthcare worker. And you will practice those skills before coming back to increase the level of complexity of theory and disease process. And then you will go back out into, cl into clinical practice, do some more practice of the skills that you've learned, and then include some of the new skills. When in your theory blocks, the um, study times or the times available for lectures or practical sessions could be anywhere between 9 and 7 p.m. Um, some days you may be required to be in your classroom areas between 9 and 4. You will have a combination of lecture, seminar work, group work, um, possibly some clinical skills practice. We try to mix up and give you variety so that it makes it interesting and um, it's not repetitive. There may be some days when you are required to come in, for example, for a clinical skills session at 4 p.m. That gives you the morning free to be able to do some work with your student colleagues for your group work, for some presentations that you might be doing, some health promotion work or for private study. We try to make sure that you have time to work on your assignments and work with your fellow students during the course of the week. It's important to have life work balance. This is um, quite intensive. Um, it's a full time course. So we are conscious of the need to make sure that you have time to reflect, time to study, time to prepare. When in clinical placement, you will work clinical shifts because you will be part of the team of healthcare workers in that clinical practice area. Though you are supernumerary, that means that you are there to learn and to make the most of the learning opportunities while delivering care. You will probably realise and from your research that nursing and clinical work um, has unpredictable hours. So sometimes, um, sometimes you may be late leaving duty because of something that's happening in clinical practice. You are also aware that nursing is a 24 hour service. So sometimes during your placement, you may be asked to join your clinical practice assessor on night duty to experience the 24 hour care cycle. One of the things that you need to be aware of is the need to have self-discipline, to be able to manage your own study, because there will be opportunities, there will be work given to you by your module leaders and teaching staff for you to be getting on with in your downtime, work that you'll be managing on your own. So you do need to have some um, discipline in being able to manage your own time. This is a full time course leading to professional qualification and so full attendance is required. The nursing course that you have chosen um, is a programme that will lead to an academic award, which will either be the BSc Honours in Adult Nursing or the MSc in Adult Nursing. And you will also be eligible for professional registration with the Nursing and Midwifery Council. There are excellent employment opportunities for you. The majority of our students find themselves being invited to interview um, in the spring of their final year. Most students you will find have already secured opportunities and job offers um, bef well before they qualify. There are excellent prospects locally and most of these arise from the placement areas that you will have encountered during your programme. At the moment, the typical starting salary for a registered nurse is £24,200. You just need to be aware that with professional registration comes a commitment to lifelong learning. In order to maintain your registration, as a nurse, you will need to demonstrate to the Nursing Midwifery Council your commitment to lifelong learning. This slide has a, a chart giving you the outline of a typical programme pattern. And it shows you how things were mapped out for the group who started their course in September 2019. 
you can see how there um, is induction time followed by um, theory marked with the T and then you will see the various um, the various opportunities for you to take annual leave um, assessment weeks are usually where you may have an exam um, and your P uh, weeks are represent placements clinical practice areas um, you will see um, there is there's plenty of opportunity in the summer weeks for you to undertake independent study. Um, that gives you the opportunity to catch up on anything that you have not um, managed to achieve. If you need some additional practice, then you, this is the opportunity for you to do that. But this gives you some indication of how well balanced the programme is. This is just a reminder that practice-based learning uh, will always be supported for you on an individual basis by a qualified nurse who's your practice assessor. They have usually undertaken some additional training so that they can guide you and supervise your learning while you're with them on placement. You will also be supported by a link lecturer who is a member of the academic staff and also the module leader for the modules that you've just completed before practice. We often find, however, that students support each other between years and also within cohort groups. So there's usually plenty of support for people going out into practice um, once you've left the university and the classrooms. You will find that we use clinical placement areas um, in most of the east of England, so that would be Hertfordshire, Essex, Middlesex and also into North and some sometimes central London. You do need to be prepared to travel to your clinical placements. Um, the placement patterns will vary. We have a dedicated placements team who allocate placements. They look basically at where you live, how accessible the transport is for you, whether you are a car driver and have access to a car or whether you and a group of your friends are going to try and share travel commitments. They can't guarantee that you will have your preferences because they have um, several hundred students placements to organise and they, we as a university have to verify to the Nursing and Midwifery Council that you have had a well-rounded programme of practice placements. But you can basically see some of the main hospitals indicated by the circles on the map these are, the, these are the chief areas for our clinical placements. Finally, if you have any questions at all about your studies, how the programme works, what the facilities are, what support is available, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can email me, Rosina Sink, or my colleague Karen Satchel with any queries. We are always happy to help. We look forward to welcoming you to our school and to um, your exciting adventure ahead in September.